Hey guys, my name is Robert and I'm the head of institutional relations at Union. Recently, we added multi-sig support on Union. We've done so for the Kepler multi-sig dashboard and for the safe wallet. In this video, I will show you how you can use them. Let's first start with the safe wallet. If we go to the safe wallet environment, then there is one thing we absolutely must do. Go to, if you start at home, go to apps, go to my custom apps, go to add custom safe app and add the URL, which I will show you now. The URL is btc.union.build. If you add this, you will see the following thing popping up and make sure you click on that you agree with this. If you then click on add, you then see that it is added here. Now we will open the Union BTC app via this application. If we click on this and then we click here on open safe app, you will see that this, is, uh, this screen is popping up. And now we are in the app of Union, but within the safe wallet environment. Let's go to transfer here. And first thing you want to do is want to check whether your multi-sig account is actually in my wallets. In this case, I can see that that is the case. Th this number is the, is the multi-sig account that I use for this demo purpose. Now we can close this. Next up, we select the chain where we want to send from. In this case, that's Ethereum. And for the sake of, the, uh, of this video, we want to send Uni BTC. Then we select the destination chain. In this case, that will be Babylon and for Babylon. We will also want to receive it on Uni BTC, of course. Then we fill in the balance, how much we want to send. And I will send five zeros and a two. Next thing you want to do, this is crucial. You want to click here on this wallet icon and you want to manually add the multi-sig dashboard wallet from Kepler that you're using. In this case, I click on Kepler wallet and I go back to here. Then I fill here in the address of that uh, Kepler multi-sig wallet and I click on use. Now you see that the address here is the same as the address that we're using here. Then we click on transfer ready, confirm receiver, and then click on proceed. Small note, it might be that in your case, you still have to uh, approve the token transfer first, which means that instead of immediately sending the funds, you first need to approve that, you're, that you can interact with the smart contract. In that case, you will have one extra step where you'll have to say approve token. You have to await that step to happen and then you can transfer the funds. And then we click on submit transaction. Then this screen will pop up, the save wallet screen. And there it will say what you need to do. We click on yes, execute. I understand what I'm signing and we click execute this transaction. Then we click on Festive, which is Dutch for confirm. And then we can go to close the extension and then we will have to wait. Now that we've waited, we see that save all it says transaction successfully executed. We can click on finish. And then you will see this check transfer successful. We can go to check on Explorer and we see that our uni BTC amount is sent from Ethereum to Babylon. And here, which is a very cool feature, I think you can actually see what's happening on the variety of chains. And you can see that the transfer is received. Now that we have sent uni BTC, from Ethereum to the Babylon chain, 
it's time to show you the multi-sig dashboard of Kepler. This time we will not go to the save wallet environment, but we will go to the actual btc.union.build app. So make sure you fill in the following URL. You will then end up in this screen. And next up, we click on Kepler multisig. And in this Kepler multisig, you want to do the following. For the sender, we want to use our Kepler multisig dashboard account that we created. You see here that I use the Union multisig demo. This is the same address to which we sent the Union BTC in the first place. We copy paste this address. We go back to the Union BTC app and we fill in this address here. Dude. This time we select the Babylon chain because that's where the Uni BTC went to. And we will click on the Uni BTC. Next up, we will choose where we want to send it to. In this case, we want to send it back to Ethereum. So we click Ethereum. And of course, Uni BTC is already, uh, is already filled in there. The next step is to fill in the receiver. In this case, we want that the multi-sig account of the save wallet receives it. That's the address that also sent the Uni BTC in the first place. So we go to our save wallet environment again. We click here on this icon, if the app allows, yes. <laughs> Copy to clipboard. We go back to the Union BTC app. We go to receiver and we copy paste this. Be aware, the save wallet app always puts a prefix of the if in here. We will have to remove that. <coughs> and once we've done so, we can use it. So that now we have received the balance actually on the Babylon chain. That takes always a while. We can fill in the amount we want to send, which is in this case just the max. And now it will be a bit different than on the save wallet because now we will have to click on export message. And we will have to copy this message. You click here on copy. Make sure you copy it. Go to the Kepler multi-sig dashboard. Go to new transaction. And here, and here we click on name of the, uh, give the title to the transaction. In this case, we can call it Kepler multi-sig transaction test. Description is optional, so let's skip that for now. And this is most important. Here, we will copy the exact data that we just got. Then we click on import. Then you will see similar setup as what we are used to with the save wallet. Then we will need to click sign. You will get this message proof. Now it is signed. Threshold I've set on one out of two. Again, for the sake of this demo purpose. And I will click on execute. The transaction is successfully broadcasted. And now this is also a bit different because what we can do now is we click on view transaction. We will be brought to this screen, mintscan.io. And here you will see the transaction hash. We can copy paste that. And to see now in the union app, what happened to it, we can go to union app again. And there we can go to find packet and in find packet we can fill in the transaction hash and then we can go here to transfer and there you will see exactly what is happening to it just like we saw with the same wallet 
but now from the Kepler multisig dashboard. You saw that it was first on progress, but now you can see that the transfer is received on Ethereum. And that also concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, make sure that you reach out to us, the team. Thank you all.